Hi Best Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you joined me today. Today we're going to make a window corner hanger tag with dangles. But first, let's have our shout out to Linda, Ray Lynn, Debbie, I love to journal, Evie, Levin, Benji, and Sweet and Simple Crafts. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is a junk mail craft or a recycled window craft. So grab your windowed envelopes and then select an assortment of your scraps that you think blend well together. I've got some digitals, I've got some coffee dye lined book page, I have some book page itself, I've got some music and I have some coffee dyed copy papers. So first what we want to do is we want to get our envelope. Mine is open still, so if yours isn't open, go ahead and cut it the long way so you can get into it. And let's go ahead and trim it. Now, I am going to trim mine to be six inches long, but you can trim yours to be as short as half an inch down from where the window is. So this window is here. You could do it half an inch down from, I think you should give yourself a little bit of room there. So I'm just going to do it at six inches and I'm going to go ahead and give it a chop right here. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to kind of decide how I'm going to be using my papers. I think I really like these papers together. I think this color goes really well with this color. And then I'm not sure if I want to do maybe some, some of this. I like this as well. So, and maybe, maybe some music. I'm not sure, but I do know I like these two right here. So with that said, Let's talk about what we want to put in our window. Now, I have selected a few botanicals and I would like to see maybe how these might look inside. Let's grab just a little piece of coffee dyed paper. Let's see, let's stick it in this way. And let's just look at a few things to see how they might look. I'm not thrilled with that one. I don't think it goes well with with either one actually so that's out and then there's this one that one's okay I don't think there's enough definition there's this one no that one's too small this is the one that I'm hoping is gonna work this one right here yeah I do like that I like the color I like everything about this one so what I want to do is, I think, I think the first thing I want to do is I'm going to bring in my coffee dyed coffee paper, and I'm going to place it right in here just like this, and then I'm going to position, first I need to ink this up just a little bit, I need to grab my vintage photo and I just need to highlight it a little bit. All right. I do believe these are my porch print fussy cuts. I do believe they are. And I'm gonna pop this in like this. And then I wanna see, I have some labels. I thought I had them right here. Oh, here they are. Here we are. Let's see if any of these labels might look nice here. I don't know. I thought maybe one of these might look nice. Oh, I like that one. I like the size. So I'm going to ink it also, and then I'm going to take and place it in here and kind of see, oh, do I want it? I think I want it like that. So I'm going to pull it all out. And I'm simply going, whoops, I hope I remember how that was. I'm going to add a little bit of glue here and then just put it right on here like that. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to be gluing our fussy cut and our label onto our coffee dyed paper. Well, it wasn't pushed over very far. I think I'd like it further over. Yeah, something like that. I like that better. So I'm going to pull this out if I can and simply see if I can just add a little bit of glue. I just need enough glue on here so that it won't fall and it will be stuck onto my coffee dyed paper but I don't need it to be super glued down because I'm going to be gluing my coffee dyed paper onto the, the same side as the window. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to just add my glue right on the same side and hopefully that was far enough down, not too far down. Oh, almost perfect. Oh, except for I got glue on it. Yes. It's probably not really going to matter. It'll probably dry clear. But I did get my glue on there. It'll be fine. So I'm just gluing that down. So I'm gluing my coffee dyed paper on the same side as my window. Now let's trim this out. Alrighty, so let's change our scissors here and let's just trim this out, just like this. Alrighty, probably not trimmed very well because it's catching. Yeah, it needs to be trimmed just a little bit more. How will it? No. Right here, it's catching. Oh, good heavens. Okay. Here we go. I'm trying to fold this down without it folding my coffee dyed paper, and I'm seeming, seems to be arguing with me. Okay. I think it's not going to argue anymore. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to cover the opposite side inside the envelope with my coffee dyed paper as well. So I am going to fix this piece right here. There we go. And I'm just going to place my glue on this side of my paper. Okay, and then I'm going to slip it right in. So the inside of my envelope is going to have coffee dyed paper on both sides. There, I got that in. Okay, now let's give this a trim. job at trimming in my guys. All right, now that pulls down. So inside it's all covered with our coffee dyed paper. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to actually glue this down because we've got our inside all covered. Let's glue this down just like that. Okay. And then let's go ahead and start collaging a little bit on the outside as we wait for this flap to dry. Okay, I don't want to try to cut it when it's um, wet with glue because it will just end up chewing it. So I'm going to add my glue here. I'm going to add this whole piece right here, just like this. 
and I do like to trim it out so I like to lay a big piece on and then trim it out I don't do very well with cutting my piece first and then trying to make it fit I, I don't do well with that so I I find that I do better doing it this way so I've got that piece on now I really like this one so I want some of this blue to show I think Oh, I don't know that's pretty too maybe halfway okay halfway so I'm going to just add my glue onto my envelope just like this now I do have two examples that I have made to show you they're in two different colors and they'll even be different colors than what we're working with right now so you can see how different colors will work and I'm just going to give it a trim. So this is a great project to use up some scraps because I don't know, all of a sudden uh, my scraps are coming out my ears. I think I'm going to have to be doing a lot of collage papers. So I don't know. I, <clears throat> I have way too many scraps. All right, so now let's look and see. Possibly this might be pretty on it. Oh, this is the one that I really like. I really like this and I think I want it to be maybe something like maybe right here yeah I think that's super sweet so let's go ahead and add our glue and then I'm just gonna lay it down and then trim it just like I've been doing on everything else I just I just find it to be the simplest for me then do I want to stick with the same thing right here or maybe I could add a little bit of music paper that that might be fun I'm not sure let's trim a little piece and see that might look good I'm going to just trim it here I'm going to trim it here because I think that's going to fit I'll just cut it off here how about maybe something like that and then I can trim it out so I'm going to add my glue. Actually, I could add my glue to this. I've added too much because I'm not <laughs> I'm not going to use this whole piece. But I can wipe it off. It'll be all right. Wipe it off. And then I'm just going to give it a trim to, to get it to fit. All right. So now we've got our front collage. And... On my examples, I went ahead and I collage, I mean not in collage, I inked up my papers before I put them down. I'm just going to run my sponge over these just a little bit. And I'm definitely going to run my sponge over the edge here, like this. Alright, now the back. What I want to do with the back is I'm going to take a piece of my coffee dyed paper. This one has a beautiful doily on it. And I'm going to simply glue it right on the back. Oop, I need this one. This is my glitter glue. Simply just glue it right on the back. Okay. And I'm going to just lay it right down. And then I'll trim it out. So... I have got now, after I trim this out, I've got this all collaged and I really like how it's turned out, but I want to add a tab to it. So trimming this out just like this. All right. So now we've got this on the back. And I did not round my corners at all, and I think you'll see why in just a minute. Let's talk about what kind of, what tab do we want? I actually have a piece of cardstock here, and I thought this blue might be very pretty. I've got a little bit of blue here and a little bit of blue here. I thought maybe a little bit of blue would be pretty there. So I'm going to punch it out and I do I want the words or do I want do I want this I think I want this 
So I'm going to punch that out, and I'm actually going to punch two. Even though this is cardstock, I really want this to be sturdy. We're going to be hanging our dangle off of it, and I really need this not to bend. So just inking it up a little bit, and I'm actually going to glue these two together. And I know someone's going to say you can cut them out together or punch them out together. But I want special um, parts of my paper, and that's why I do it separately. Now we have this one, or we have this one. I really like this one. I kind of wish it was upside down. I wish it was this way. But I'm going, I'm not going to put, my opening is going to be on this side and not on this side. So I am going to attach that. And I'm simply going to add my glue right onto my tab, and I'm going to attach it right here, just like this. I'm going to press it down. Now, what I want to do is, I'm going to move my scissors here. I'm going to be bringing in my glue gun. And I'm going to decorate this. I'm still giving it a little time before I cut it up. I'm going to add a little bit of lace. Let's see, where exactly do I want it? Oh, that's pretty going this way. I do like it that way. It's kind of different. Uh, if we just trim it right here and we add a little bit of lace right there. Whoa! So I thought my glue gun was plugged in and it's not. Let me plug it in. All right, so I think my glue gun's ready to go. So I've got this pretty net and I think I'd like to place a little bit of net right here. And so I'm going to add some glue right here and lay my net down. I'm kind of I'm going to put it at an angle. I'm not going to really worry about it being straight. Yeah, let's get it up here. I will say that this label is crooked and it bothers me. So I'm going to see if I can mm, maybe make an illusion to where you, I'm not noticing that so much. So I'm going to add a strip of glue. I'm using hot glue. It's quick. It's easy, it's great for making videos. And I'm just going to add it right here, right down this way. I'm thinking I might like this label here. I don't know why, but I do think I will like it there. So I'm gonna add it, adding my glue and slipping it right here. Let's see if I can get it underneath this just a little bit. There we go. And then, let's see what else do we have. I have another piece of net, or um, lace, I'm sorry. And, yeah, I'm going to put it right here. I think that's going to help me with how that looks. So I'm just going to lay it right here. that down there. I've got some flat back pearls here and I'm going to put some right there. Once again I'm hoping that's going to help me with the fact that my label's a little off. And I'm going to I'm not going to take it all the way across. I'm just going to stop right here. And then I would like to maybe Add some down here or up here or maybe both. I'm not sure. I do think I'd like some down here. So I'm just going to add a few right here. I've got to remember that I'm going to be cutting this open right here on this side. So I don't want to put my decoration too close to the edge. Yeah, I think I'll add it right there. All right. 
now. Let's see if we can open this up here. I need to cut this off. It's my extra net. Hopefully it's not going to chew it too badly. Got that opened up. Now let's put our dangle on and then I can show you how this is going to work. I have got a little dish here and I have some enameled charms. I've got some blue hearts, a whale, a star. I've got a kitty cat and I actually already attached it. I put a few little seed beads and I used a swivel fishing hook thing. It's not a hook. It's a swivel where you clip on your your hook and you clip on your your jigs or your whatever you're using to fish with. And I bought this at the sporting counter and these are size 12s and they're barrel swivels, okay? So they turn. Now, this was suggested, these fishing things, this was not my idea. Um, a subscriber mentioned them, and I thought, oh my stars, that is brilliant. I love to fish. Why I had never thought of these, I have no idea. But they turn around and around, because they swivel, so that you don't get stuck with it being in an odd position or backwards or anything like that. So oh, I'm going to bring in my hole punch and I'm simply going to punch a hole in my tag. Just like that. I've got my hole in my tag now. Now I've got some blue embroidery thread and I'm simply going to place it through the hole I'm going to place the thread through the swivel and then I am going to tie it on. And I'm just going to make a knot and I'm actually going to make a couple knots. And you know I don't trust embroidery thread for not coming undone as far as the knot coming undone. I don't trust it at all. So what I like to do is I like to get my watered down school glue and I just place the glue right on the knot itself. And it'll soak in and it will dry completely clear and you'll never know it's there. But your knot isn't going to come undone. Now how do you use this? You take a page of your junk journal we can use this one and you open this up and you place it right here on the corner of your page so it has a tab you've got this decoration at the corner of your page and then on this side you have a journaling spot so you have <laughs> you have a corner a corner decoration with a dangle, a tab, and a journaling spot. So I called them window corner hanger tag, tag with dangle. That's a mouthful, but oh my goodness, I think they're so pretty. Now let me show you the others that I have made. So there's this pretty creamy color with the blue. And then I made a beautiful pink one right here. And this is the way the, that looks on the back. And you clip it on the corner of the page the exact same way. And then I have this really pretty yellow one that would be great in a bee journal. And this one has a little rose as the charm. Oh my goodness, you guys. And it opens up like that and this one's just solid coffee paper I love these I think they would be a great addition to a junk journal I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have please give me a thumbs up I invite you to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you 
in my next video. I'll see you there, guys. Bye now.